the person filming heads for an exit. Topsy-turvy flashes of stained glass windows tell us something about the location and the mood. Inside the St. Aloysius Church, there is panic. People shout out the names of their loved ones. Others issue commands. It's all so much quieter today. There's little to indicate that a memorial service for a mother and her daughter had been interrupted. People's grief buffeted by close range violence. Dorothea Hackman runs the food bank next door to the church. A gun fired in broad daylight on our streets. The only person I've spoken to was utterly traumatized by it. And they were inside or outside? Inside. Dorothea describes how people from the service were sprinting away from the church in fear. And the person that you spoke to, how are they feeling? Um, so shaken that I don't think she'll come outdoors for a long time. So far, the Met Police have told journalists that shots were fired from a moving vehicle. They've identified the model of the car and the type of gun used. We know that the black Toyota was driving this way towards the church. There were people gathered outside after the memorial service. And then whoever was in the car pulled out a shotgun and sprayed pellets into the crowd. We have a significant number of specialist detectives and local officers working around the clock. But we also need the public's help. We want to hear from anyone who witnessed the incident or has information about it. This morning, the Labour leader, Keir Starmer, went to a briefing on the shooting. Camden is his constituency, and he nodded to the bigger picture. I've always said we should toughen up our gun laws. I mean, the incident, tragic incident, in my constituency yesterday uh, is ongoing. Um, our thoughts are, of course, with all those uh, concerned. Six people were injured, four women, one of whom now has potentially life-changing injuries at 48 years old. A 12-year-old girl's leg was injured, and a 7-year-old girl is in a life-threatening condition. And there's another story here, already so tragic. This mother and daughter died 25 days apart. Yesterday, people simply wanted to share their love and respect.